my early recollections of hanging out, um, chilling in Camden, as it were, had to be the very early 80s. And I remember coming to the old Camden Palace, which is now known as Coco's. This was the spot in London, or, you know, what was ever happening in nightlife, I think this was the pinnacle. The music scene at that time in Camden was terrible, but I was listening to a lot of, um, obviously a lot of soul music, reggae and stuff like that, and we were big fans of electro. My first experience at Camden Palace was when I worked for a sound and lighting company. We did an installation here, Many Moons. That would have been around about maybe 85. No, probably before that. I remember coming back years later, doing a DJ gig. And then um, a few days ago, we were just in here with the live band. So it's a real sort of home from home place. It's very much um, part of the fabric of Camden, actually. Um, and strangely enough, it starts at the beginning of um, Camden High Street. <laughs> I think Camden nowadays is quite different than it was in the early 80s simply because we've evolved. Um, you know, the shops have changed, the clientele has changed, and it's just like a revolving record actually, you know, I guess any sort of part of town is. Um, is it better now? I have to be honest with you, I enjoyed it much more in the grittier, grimy days. Um, but now it's been all done up and it's a bit more sort of um, family friendly and um, all I've done since the last maybe 30 years I've lived in this area is just change the furniture. The Soul to Soul Live experience is a happy phase of fun pink bays for a lovely race and it's always going to be that and um, look forward to seeing you guys at the next one.